Ghana is fortunate to, especially Accra, to be selected as one of the areas to participate and get more of a voice out. We consider it a huge privilege that one of the most important um, leadership events in the world, Davos, has come to Accra today in the form of shaping Davos Accra. The conversation is poignant and important for these times, so building trust in public-private partnerships. We are happy and eager to bring the perspectives from young people, from government, from private sector in Accra to the global conversation in Davos. As a project lead for Shaping Davos in 2015, it's really near and dear to my heart because it's a local event with a global impact. And I think that's one of the things that Accra Hub looks to do. So this event is plugging in a lot of the conversation we're having on a, one of the 10 themes that is going to be discussed at the World Economic Forum um, in Davos itself. Shaping Davos is us as a hub, a Accra hub, telling our story but getting people across the board from the minister as in government, private entities as in the panelists, and as well as young community leaders, those who engaged in this discourse to share our opinions and then be able to present it on a global scale, just as if we had a chance to be at the World Economic Conference in Davos. We get to join this big conversation and we get to share our perspectives and we get to sort of talk about an issue that's very important, you know, public and private partnerships. Um, I think that's key because people always blame the government for something, but where does the individual, you know, what role does the individual have to play? Um, so we're excited to join this large conversation. We're excited that we're one of the 40 hubs that were selected. We're excited to also, you know, show the world what we think, what young people are trying to do, you know, what conversations we're having. I think shipping Davos is very essential to each city because um, most of the time you only have opinion leaders and um, our political leaders sit at high tables and discuss the issues that they think are of concern to the citizens without really giving us the opportunity to air our views and our opinions. Shipping Davos is definitely a very good opportunity for us the citizenry to also get engaged with government officials and tell them what we believe would work with them and also get some kind of education from um, our opinion leaders and government. It's so important to us that Shape and Davos is in Accra this year because we do have a voice. We have a Accra discourse that, that happens on the first Monday of every month where we foster conversations between people who actually are experts in certain fields. So for a change, I feel it's bringing that to the world. That's how I see what Shaping Davos is doing for, for the world and for our, our hub. So I, I'm just happy that the world can see from our perspective, the youth of Accra, you know, what's going on, what's our take on specific topic and what, what's the way forward? How do we build trust in, in public-private partnerships?